Hello guys, welcome to a vlog in the new bathroom mirror. Yes, I'm so pleased with it. Look how good that looks. Oh, I found it on a website with lots of vintage furniture. I can't remember the name of the website I was talking about, but I will link in the description box. And they delivered it so, so, so quickly. So quickly. I, let me show you from this angle. Oh shit, and I fell over. <laughs> I am so pleased with it. I wanted something that was kind of worn in, like I said, to the bathroom feels um, kind of modern, I suppose. So something to offset that. It's all starting to look really nice. One thing I do need to get because it's gross is a new bath mat. Mine is just a bit dirty and horrible. I do wash it, obviously. I think I might get a coloured one. I don't know what, maybe green to complement all the plants. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm just going to get ready and transform for the day. I was just waiting for, this, for the man to come and put this up. This was not a me job, this. Um, and then make a coffee and do some work. I'm listening to Idols a lot this morning. It's making me angry in a good way. So, oh, I just got changed, by the way. So I treat myself to new headphones the other day. Bose, oh god, I don't believe you know which ones they are, but I'll link them. And when you put them on, the world melts away around you. Obviously, not necessarily the safest thing if you're out walking, so bear that in mind. They do have a setting called Aware, where you can you can hear your surroundings, but then you can turn that off, and that's when the world melts away. Um, which I wouldn't use when I'm out walking, and I don't recommend that anybody does. But for things like flights or travel. Goodbye world. I am so pleased with them. They're really expensive. They're like 300 pounds. I just got them from John Lewis. Um, but then the AirPod Pros are like, I think they're like 150, maybe even a bit more than that. They're, they're not cheap. And Apple have done some like over ear headphones, which are even, they're so expensive. Um, and I would say from having used these, these are worth the price jump from the AirPod Pro to these, the like, sound quality is incredible. Uh, obviously it's kind of a bit more like, I don't know, the discreetness of an AirPod Pro I do really like, um, but I still have my AirPod Pros. They were just getting to the point where they always had to have them on really loud, which I don't really like doing anyway. And then they, whenever they were so loud, they were just crackling. So I have had them for maybe two years. I don't know what the expected lifespan of them is. Surely longer than that though, for how expensive they are. Anyway, now I walk around looking like this all the time and I'm really into my new look. So that's what I wanted to show you guys, my new headphones. And now, um, yeah, I need a second coffee. And I've got a work call with Josh, my agent at 12. And for now, I've not got anything else to tell you, but I'm sure some will come up. Oh, I got some really good new trousers, which I'm gonna, where tonight I'm seeing my oldest friend Casey tonight going for dinner in Soho. So I'll wear those this evening probably and show you them. Okay, heading out for the day. Got some really good trousers on from a brand that I saw on TikTok called Source Unknown. They're so much fun. I thought they were kind of a good piece for me to have more fun with things, but still being like in keeping colour palette wise. Can't tell if they're really flattering or totally unflattering, but either way, I like them. Just got them on with my dear Francis trainers. They look really good with leather boots, but I didn't feel like wearing boots. I'm just gonna go watch the rugby with Hannah. Um, Ray jumper, I'm about to put my Arquette coat on. <sighs> so, so hormone, I've just been crying at TikTok. I need to stop referencing TikTok, someone will stop me. Someone will stop me. Arquette men's coat. I do like how these trousers look with something short, but to kind of ease me into them, I keep feeling, what's my mum text me? Oh yes, I did do that, I did. Um, yeah, still like easing my way into styling them with something that feels a bit more familiar and chic. I'll show you in the mirror again. Ah, I'll show you the final look. I like navy and black and anyone who thinks there's wrong or something wrong with it can stay quiet. 
headphones just walking to hannah's um and then we're going out from there fancy fancy cruises well it doesn't look like the picture did is anyone surprised no not least me Guys, look at this um screensaver. It's ten past five, and it tells the time with quotes from books. I'm not actually reading what this one says. Here we go. I'm just waiting for a change. I'm not actually reading it. It's now twelve minutes past five. Is this not the coolest thing you've ever seen with the books in the background? Still haven't changed these rooms around, obviously. Um, I'll link this in the description box so you can download it too. That's so fucking cool. I am loving waking up here so much. It's just so spring-like and beautiful. Do you know what? Those flowers, which, by the way, were £20 for that. I was robbed blind on Chatsworth Road. I'm feeling a bit less angry about it every day though, because they do look really beautiful. But still, robbed blind. Good morning, guys. Managed to get a fringe trim yesterday on the shoot with the hairstylist. God, my hair looks so dark, doesn't it? Desperate for some sunshine. Also, my skin's just a fucking mess. Well, it's not a mess, that was dramatic. It's not at all. It's just. It's always just like a couple of spots, what it is. And so that was very dramatic of me to say that. However, it's driving me a bit mad. Um, I'm just getting ready to go out and run some errands. It's very hot for some reason. But it's spring in London, which is nice. Bringing out the old Chloe jacket. Let me show you the outfit downstairs. Pick up my bag, pick up my sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. <coughs> Bless me. Hey, fever season starting. Woo. I um, have been listening to Jeff Buckley's album Grace on repeat. I like no, um, no Jeff Buckley and have listened to like quite a few of his songs individually, but never given it the time to like, properly listen through his stuff. Oh my gosh, that album is so, so, so good. You have to listen to it. It's one with Hallelujah on. But like the opening track, Mojo Pin, I, it's literally all I've been listening to. It's so good. Oh, I've got some new shoes on from St. Agony, which I'm going to show you. <sighs> One second, we've got a visitor here. Well, I didn't leave the door open just for you, did I? I didn't. You probably think I did. Don't you? Yeah. I can't feed you. You're not my cat. You can come in. <laughs> so cute. Um, yeah, I've got some new shoes on from St. Agony and I can't tell whether to actually wear them or not because I think they might hurt, but I also would like to break them in. I know everyone's adverse to uncomfortable shoes, like no one's like, I love me an uncomfortable shoe, exactly. But I, um, it's just when I'm walking so much, it's a day ruiner. And do I want to put myself through that? I'll show you them there. They're these very Roe-esque slip-on, but they look really just cool and chunky. I just think they're going to rub at the top of my foot. And I don't, I think if I wear a sock with them, my foot will slide out. Mm. What do you think, mate? Mm? Any feedback? You think go for it. Anyway, the rest of the fit is Chloe jacket. I'm going to have this forever and ever and ever. It's so good. One of the best purchases ever. Uniqlo U t-shirt, also one of my best purchases ever. I think I've had this t-shirt for like five years now. Philippa K, also one of my most worn pieces. And then the shoes which were undecided on. I just don't know if I can be bothered being uncomfortable. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a bag, because it goes so well with this jacket. And I'll wear my cutler and got some glasses and my, um, and my headphones, which aren't part of the outfit. 
Anyway, I might film a TikTok of this outfit while I decide about the shoes. Right, I'm going out for dinner tonight with Lindsay, having an outfit dilemma that I thought I'd share. Um, I definitely want to wear this top, which is from Amamento. I think I talked about them in my last video, maybe, as well. They're a Korean brand. I've got quite a few bits from them. They gift it all, so it's not, I've not paid for it. But it's just a, well, what, it's, it's a top cardigan. It's got holes in it. It's not practical, but I think it looks really nice. And I like how it looks with, how do I show you best, this neckline. This is from LNA, Jewelry is Majuri. And then I've either got really high-waisted jeans, which is very satisfyingly me. So I was just trying on a few pairs of jeans and you kind of get too much tank. These are from Martine Rose. Anyone who's been watching for a while might remember these. I got these when I lived in my first flat in London, so quite a few years ago. Um, they're so good. I like this detailing on the fly, on the crotch. And then Dear Francis Cube Boots, also an item I've had for quite a while. This is option one. Actually, I'm leaning more and more towards this, especially now I'm looking at myself through the camera too. I think the way that the jeans meet the top might be a bit too satisfying to pass up on. And I like how this is kind of falling off the shoulder. Really nice. But the other option was, okay, I do like this too. These are my Joseph trousers. Um, excuse the line where they've been hung up. Very similar to the Philip K ones I've got, but the crotch is slightly shorter. Um, and then these Arquette loafers, which are really uncomfortable, but I'm not walking, so it should be okay. Um, what do we think? Very different feel just by changing the trouser. I really like them both, actually. I think Linda's wearing heels. We're going to Braun, which is one of my favourite restaurants in East London on Columbia Road. Um, and I think as tall best friends do, in solidarity to her wearing heels, I should go for the heels look. And if I put the heels on with this, it looks way too work wearish. all of a sudden. It needs like a really chunky masculine shoe to balance it out, I think. I do like this a lot as well, though. I'm going to put my makeup on while I dwell on this. Fortunately, this can't be a live decision-making situation from you all. I wish it could be, because um, by the time you've watched this, I'll have gone out. I'll have gone out and been home. Oh, they're both quite good. Mmm. Does anyone else just permanently have a pile of clothes on their bed like that? Some different clothes all the time, but it's just always there. Change some big hoopies, also my jewelry, and just about to try and um, transform the visage in some way. So this concealer from Armani, maybe this was breaking me out. I've used it before, but obviously you can kind of sensitivity to things can change. But I really like this concealer. I hope it's not that. And then just using this. There's a new spot on the corner of my mouth. Ugh. Bend, 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 bend. Oh, that one's a sore one. Blend, blend, blend. Um, I've gone with the jeans, by the way. Jeans and heels. Because it's just too special that the top meets the waistband and you know you should really focus on these moments in life in my opinion i'm really looking forward to a glass of wine with dinner oh right that we get to the point with makeup where you go that's as good as it's gonna get and that's that point with concealer there's more to come Right, then from there, I'm going to put on some bronzer. This is the Cossas one that I like, with which where I've lost the lid to it. And I just kind of really put that all over. You've watched me do this many times. It's amazing how my skill level stays exactly the same as I'm doing this. That's great. Another Cossas thing was this brow gel, which I really like. Air brow. I have it in medium chocolate brown. It's a really good one. It's sort of not as heavy as Boy Brow by Glossier, but like a bit more natural, but still does a similar, oh, she says, and I've just put too much on the end there. But um, yeah, Glossier Boy Brow I love, but I always just end up seem, seem to having too much on my face. And then I'm gonna do some blusher. This one's by Hermes and it's in Rose Pomette. 
and I have a washer brush by Hermes as well, which is so fancy I wanted to point that out to you all. Put a bit of that on the old cheekies. My phone won't stop going off, I'm sick of it. Then some highlighter, I really like this. I got this and the Costa stuff from a shop in Soho, which is all natural beauty, Soho in New York. What's it called? Anyway, this is by a brand called Tower 28, I think. Is that what it's called? Anyway, this is super due. Um, and it's no shade whatsoever. It's it is just really nice and dewy. I really like it. Oh damn, I wish I could remember what that shop's called. Someone, if anyone knows, leave it in the comments. I want to say it's on Prince Street. Oh, damn it. And then I'm just going to curl my lashes, put some mascara on. This one's by Pericone MD. I really like their makeup as well. They do really good natural makeup. And then we're going to be done. I'm going to try and make my hair not look like it only is capable of sitting half an inch off my head. And then the transformation will be complete. And Lynn should be here in like less than an hour. This is our last dinner in London together, which I can't think about really. That's really sad. I mean, not forever, obviously. She's going to be back and I'm going to be back and everyone's going to be back. But our last one where we both permanently live in London, because then she moves at the end of this week, mm. which is really exciting, but selfishly mm, as well. Okay. Transformed. Very recognisable. I know that before and after. And I think we're both Hello, guys. Jesse's on the internet wearing no makeup again, and it's going to feel shit about themselves. Me. I'm just coming to sign this vlog off, though. Mums get here shortly. So the next one hopefully will include some mum footage, which I know you all like. And I'm going to hopefully rope her into rearranging the front two rooms finally. So I'm just going to sign this one off here. Say so thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.